going down to Houston, 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 going down to Houston, 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 you have baseball playoffs. And who was the one that predicted it? Who on yesterday's program said it was going to be the Astros to beat the Yankees? Who's predicting that the Cubs are going to upset the Pirates tonight? Who is excited for the NHL to start up this evening? It's all Andy Alford right here on your exclusive home for me, a production of Clay Fan 2. I'm your host, Andy Alford, welcoming you into the Man Cave Studios and welcoming you into another edition of All Andy Alford as you're watching us right here on ClayFan23 and however you're watching us, wherever you're watching us, through your through your television, from your, uh, your telephone, from your tablet, to your TV, and to all the different platforms. Thank you for tuning into your pro to All Andy Alford today. Got a lot to get into today. Of course, we're going to preview the NHL season as well, too. We just wrapped up the NHL preview edition of the program. And uh, you'll hear a little bit. You'll get a taste of it. We'll have uh, the NHL preview show on. And it will be on after the taping of this show. So it'll be once it, that gets uploaded, the NHL preview edition show will be on the air, of course, for you guys tonight. But also tonight, besides the NHL getting into the swing of things, NBA preseason started started yesterday. We'll break down some of the games from last night as well as what's happening tonight. The Cavaliers getting on the court for the first time this season tonight. But first and foremost, let's talk a little baseball. First and foremost. And let's talk a little bit about the MLB wildcard matchup from last night between the Houston Astros and the... New York Yankees. Last night in the Bronx, of course, it was the Dallas Keuchel show. And we got some Hunter Hayes wildcard music playing in the background for this breakdown. Of course, Dallas Keuchel last night shut down baseball for him last night as the Houston Astros went off of two home runs by Gomez and Carrera from Cody Ras Kobe Rasmus and Carlos Gomez. The Houston Astros defeat the New York Yankees three to nothing. As Kunkel gets the win, he goes to 1-0 with a 0 ERA. Tanaka, the loss, he goes to 0-1 with a 3.60 ERA. Kobe Rasmus, a home run. Carlos Stanton, I mean, Carlos Gomez homer, his first of the playoffs. As the Houston Astros defeat the New York Yankees. The Yankees lose! Thank God! Anybody at the Yankees. If the Yankees got into the postseason, I couldn't watch it. Now the Houston Astros, the team that deserves to be in it, will play the Kansas City Royals starting tomorrow night. They don't have that much of a turnover time. And we have another wild card game tonight. We gonna get fine for that? Nope. Yes, we have another wild card game tonight. It is the Chicago Cubs on the road. They'll take on the Pittsburgh Pirates at PNC Ballpark tonight. It is an 8:07 start time. Be Jake Arietta, 22 and 6, with a 1.77 ERA versus Garrett Cole, who's 19 and 8, 
with a 2.60 ERA. 8.07 start time on that one. You can watch that game on TBS. It will also be on the ESPN Radio Network as well, too. Uh, interesting to look at some of the lineups for this game tonight for the Cubs. The Cubs going more with an offensive front in this game. Of course, switching around a little bit. Bryant playing out in the outfield tonight. Uh, interesting to see that. Uh, no Pedro Alvarez in the game for the Pirates tonight. The Pirates going with more of a defensive front in their game this evening against Jake Arrieta. So we'll see what happens with that tonight. 8.07. It is win and move on. Lose and go home to the golf course. Tonight, 8 o'clock. 8.07 really is the starting line, starting time for the game tonight at PNC Ballpark. Good crowd on hand early. It's probably going to be a half house, but it'll be a full blackout in session. I'll take the Cubs tonight. The Cubs to play the Cardinals in the next round of the series. Now, tomorrow on Thursday, there will be two playoff games. 3.30 start time in Toronto. It will be the Texas Rangers taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. We'll be on in between games one and game the other game in the afternoon, Houston and Kansas City. Gondo on the hill for Texas. He's 13-11 and 11 with a 3.42 in the regular season. David Price, 18-5 and 5 with a 2.45 ERA in game one. Game The other game of the evening, Houston taking on Kansas City, will be Mahal, Mahew, excuse me, McHugh, 19 and 7 with a 3.89 ERA for the Houston Astros. He'll take on Rock Ventura, who is 13 and 8 with a 4.08 ERA. 7:30 start time for that one. And then on Friday, a sl four games on the dock at tw starting at at 12:30. Texas taking on Toronto. That's Hamels versus Strawman. Hamels 13 and 8 with a 3.65 ERA. Strawman 4 and 0 with a 1.67 ERA. 3:30 will be Casimir. 7-11 with a 3.10 ERA for the Houston Astros taking on Kansas City. Johnny Cueto on the bump, 11-13 with a 3.44 ERA. The winner of the wild card game tonight will take on St. Louis on Friday night in St. Louis. They will face John Lackey, who is 13-10 with a 2.77 ERA in their game. And the concluding game on Friday night, 9-30, it will be the Mets taking on the Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. He is 16 and 7 with a 2.13 ERA in the regular season. He'll pick up face Jason DeGrom, who is 14 and 8 with a 2.54 ERA. That game 9:30 on the West Coast. Full slate of baseball Friday night, tonight, tomorrow night, and for the playoff hunt. So the hunt for October begins tomorrow for the playoff series. Begin course so Houston congratulations to Houston we'll see what happens tonight between the Cubbies and the Pirates taking the Cubs of course more or less as you're watching all Andy Elfer right here on your exclusive home for me a production of clay fan two three I am your host Andy Elford and uh, I want to I want to talk a little bit about the NBA yes I mean the NBA the NBA preseason is underway they started off last night in the NBA, and we have some scores to report. Local scores also as well, too, as well as national scores. But let's talk a little bit about what happened last night in the NBA preseason games. Uh, on Tuesday night on the docket of the Indiana Pacers were in Detroit. Saw some of the footage of the game on a, a, fan, a person's periscope. I was watching the Yankees-Houston game. I was watching a periscope broadcast of the of the Pistons Indiana Indiana game, nobody was there. There had to be about fifteen hundred. Unbelievable for our preseason NBA game and how great Indiana has been. But George. But the Pacers a 115-112 victory in the game. George had twenty points first quarter. To put Paul George would score 20 of his 32 points in the first quarter, and Indiana Pacers overcame a rally by the pa by the Pistons, 115 to 112. The Bulls were a winner, 105 to 95 of the Bucks. The Grizzlies a 92-89 victory over the Rockets. The Nuggets a 96-86 win over the Mavericks. 
The Wizards beat the 76ers 129-95. And the Boston Celtics took on an Ofra team. Opa, I, I don't know who. It must be a must be a, an international team. They beat up beat up on them 124 to 91. But tonight in the Celeste Arena in Cincinnati, Ohio, it will be the Atlanta Hawks on the road to take on your Cleveland Cavaliers. Seven o'clock start time on that one on NBA TV as well as on Fox Sports. Ohio. We have one final right now. Uh, the Utah Jazz, a 117-114 victory the, over the L.A. Lakers. The Lakers 0-2 in preseason. Tonight, other games in the NBA preseason. Barcelona, Baru will be in the Madison Square Garden to take on the New York Knicks. Knicks. The Magic are on the road to play the Heat. The Thunder are taking on the Timberwolves. The Mavericks on the road to play the Houston Rockets. And the Sacramento Kings taking on the Phoenix Suns. But tonight, the Cavaliers getting off to their 2015-2016 season. Preseason start tonight against the against the Atlanta Hawks in the Celeste Center in beautiful Cincinnati, Ohio. Tomorrow night, of course, the Cavaliers on the road to play at the Wells Fargo Center to take on the 76ers. The Celtics are in Madrid. They'll play at the Barclay Center in Spain. Pacers taking on the Magic. The Nets are on the road to play the Pistons at the Palace. Uh, the Grizzlies hosting the Macav Haflas in Memphis, Tennessee. The Bulls are in the Nuggets. The Raptors are on the road to play the Lakers. Spurs are in Sacramento as well. At, and the Lakers game is in Citizen Bank Arena in Ontario, the new home of the Ontario Kings in the new AHL. The Sleeping Train Arena in Sacramento will have the Spurs and the Kings, and the Portland Trailblazers will be hosting the Sac. Take on the Golden State Warriors, the defending NBA champions. But tonight, of course, the NBA kicking off for the Cavs. Tonight, they'll take on the Atlanta Hawks at the Celeste Center. Hope you're if you're in Cincinnati and you're going to go to the game, send some pictures, tweet the pictures to all at all Andy Alford. I can't wait to see how the Cavs look this year and see how they're going to do this upcoming season. Absolutely looking forward to that this upcoming season. But, of course, we have all been waiting for this since June. Oh, my God, I can't believe it is finally here, folks. It is time. It is truly, truly time. I tell you, it is truly time. Oh, Wednesday Night Rivalry! The NHL is back! the docket tonight and you'll be able to see here in the U.S. and across the country and across the North America platform and if you have NHL Game Center four games on the docket you'll be able to watch tonight the NHL debut behind the bench for Mike Babcock and the Toronto Maple Leafs taking on the grumpy old man's Montreal Canadiens not wait for that game. 7 o'clock on Sportsnet or on TVA, of course. And then at 8 o'clock, the banner raising in Chicago between the New York Rangers and the Chicago Blackhawks. That's why we're in the red today for the pack for the Blackhawks, of course. Uh, but I'm a Blue Jacket fan, you can tell. We got a scout for the Rangers. So I can't wait for that game tonight. 
And in the late games tonight, 10 o'clock, will be Vancouver taking on Calgary, on, also on TVA and on Sportsnet. Also, at 10.30, will be the LA Kings taking on the San Jose Sharks at the Staples Center. 10.30 puck drop for that one. So I can't not wait for the NHL to start up tonight. It is great to be back on the ice. Yeah, we will still love you, NHL, no matter what happens in the future. Of course, adding two new teams might help it out. But I think, and I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say this. I don't want a team, and I've said this before. The Las Vegas Wranglers of the a ECHL could not survive in the East Coast League and could not survive and have a hockey team out there. And you're going to tell me. You're going to put an NHL franchise in Las Vegas. There's an NHL franchise already in the desert. It's the Arizona Coyotes. It's just a tourist destination for NHL fans. The NHL awards are just good enough in Las Vegas. We do not need an NHL franchise in the city of lights of Las Vegas, Nevada. We do need one in Quebec. That we do need. That Those people have been waiting for it for a long time and they deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. They have the arena. They have the fan base. They have the money. Put it in Quebec. Quebecois deserve an NHL franchise back. They deserve to have the Nordiques back. Absolutely do. Hartford deserves to have the team back. Uh, tomorrow on the NHL dock, and a full slate of games as well, too. On the Thursday edition, Winnipeg is in Boston. That's a 7 o'clock start time. Ottawa is in Buffalo. The start for Mr. Jack Eichel. 7 o'clock start time for that one. Philadelphia is in Tampa Bay. Edmonton on the road to take on the St. Louis Blues. The Blues coming off of a good season this year. And Connor McDavid's first NHL game. Regular season. Tomorrow night in St. Louis. Put him on the rough seat right there. Carolina is in Nashville. That's an 8 o'clock start time. Pittsburgh will start their season in Dallas at 8.30. And then in the NBCSN game tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, it will be the Minnesota Wild taking on the Colorado Avalanche. 9 o'clock start time for that one. This Friday night sees the Detroit Red Wings starting their season. They'll take on the Toronto Maple Leafs as it will be the return of Mike Babcock to the Joe Louis Arena. 7.30 start time for that one. Winnipeg is in New Jersey. The Rangers will be at 200 West Nationwide Boulevard with your Columbus Blue Jackets. Start their 2015-2016 campaign to the cup. March with us, baby, because we are the fifth line. Jackets, Rangers, Friday night, I will be there. Girlfriend will be there. Most of Ohio should be there for this game tonight uh, on Friday night at 200 West Station White Boulevard. Even though the tickets are sold out, find the bar. Go watch the game. The Jackets are a team to watch out for. John Butchergrass, the other night on Scott Van Pelt, said that this team is going to have 100-plus points, and I totally agree with him. Brandon Saad, Nick Foligno, and Ryan Johansson, perfect. That line is going to be perfect. Put him with Jack Johnson and Fetter Tootin and Sergei Bobrovsky. There's your number one line right there. But I'm diving into what the NHL preview show should be. Flip it over. And watch the show. It's just a little bit of a taste. Cannot wait. Friday night, 200 West Nationwide Boulevard. Columbus Blue Jacket Hockey back on the ice between the New York Rangers. And then the Rangers 
will go, go home to play the Blue Jackets in their home opener on Saturday night. Chicago will be in the on the island to take on the Islanders. Arizona will be in L.A. They'll take on the Kings. With well, the NHL schedule, the NHL season starts tonight. Cannot wait. Certainly cannot wait. I am so excited for this night tonight. Of course, the NHL rosters have been announced by all teams. The Jackets will have will have dressed their starting skill. It will be Cam Atkinson, Sergei Bobrovsky, Jared Bull, Renee Borg, Matt Calvert, Gregory Campbell, David Clarkson, Kevin Connaughton, Brandon Dubitsky, Nick Foligno, Cody Golovev, Scott Hartnell, Boone Jenner, Ryan Johansson, Jack Johnson, William Carlson, Curtis McElhaney will be in the backup. Ryan Murray, Dalton Prout, Brandon Saad, David Savard, Fettertune, and Alexander Wenberg. The injuries are Jesse Wilchester and Gabriel Burchek. Healthy scratches. They'll be healthy scratches for the game on Friday night. Expect to see all the guys in their unis on Friday night. And that what I'm hearing is a great turnout for the Blue Jackets in Cleveland for the training camp days as well, too. I want to pass this along. Now, yesterday, the Blue Jackets... And the Lake Erie Monsters, the new the new affiliate for the Blue Jackets, that are used to be the former Colorado Avalanche affiliate, to play at Quicken Loans Arena, where the Cavs play at. They announced their new jerseys for the Friday night games. It's Blue Jacket Night on Friday night in Cl in Cleveland, and they have dollar hot dogs, um, dollar sodas, two dollar hot dogs, three dollar beer nights on Friday nights. They hit a failing point in their jerseys for the Blue Jackets. The jacket jersey, if you haven't seen it, you know, you know, you know, hold on. One moment. I will pull it out for you. We have them over here still. Tell I have them still over here. Just give me one second as I'm off camera. I'm not, I'm not supposed to usually do this, but. Okay, so the Blue Jacket jersey, the white one, of course, is this white frame jersey. You know, and it has the patches on the top, of course, for it has the Lake Erie Monster patch and the Blue Jacket patch on the side for the Lake Erie Monsters. This is just a prototype of what the, this is, this is the format for it. The white, the blue trim, the red sliver on the white jersey. Instead of, now replace this, put the state of Ohio on it and put CLE on it. They did not hammer that out perfectly. And, and honest to God, I would have liked to see the Monsters go with a jersey, with that kind of a jersey, or the blue jersey, and then have the Monster logo done in red, white, and blue. That would have been perfect. Or taking the old jerseys like they have, the retro jerseys, that are the almost the same as the third jerseys for the Blue Jackets, but make them... The same. And put the blue jacket emblems on the top. A big fail by Barry Zito in the GM department for the Lake Erie Monsters. That's one. That's one. Failing on that part. Well, let's, of course, the Lake Erie Monsters get started tomorrow night, on Friday night. Excuse me. They'll take on the Rochester Americans in their AHL, home op uh, AHL opening game in Rochester. New York. Looking at some NHL news and notes as well too to pass along to you before we get into the before we get ready to set the table tonight. Presented by Libby Factory Outlet. NHL news and notes for your Conor McDavid seems hard work as paying off of the NA for it for his NHL debut against the St. Louis Blues tomorrow night. Blues have signed Scott Gomez to a one year contract and placed the center Patrice Berlong on long-term injured reservist Gomez is going to be making $575,000 at the NHL level and $200,000 at the American Hockey League level as he signs a two-way contract. As well, too, uh, the Blackhawks have placed Vosov on the IR and recalled Vali Polka. They put Stahlberg and signed defenseman Victor Stahlberg to the Rockford Icehawks. As well, too. So those are the NHL news and notes going into tonight's home openers and the start of the 20th NHL kickoff face-off 
2015. No news for the walleye. Of course, this is day three of training camp. Uh, what we heard was a good turnout for the big fin fanatics. Great reception on the new food and all the new players as well, too, from the Booster Club. It's great to see that. They'll have a preseason game this upcoming Friday. If you can't get down to Nationwide and you can't go to the bar, want to watch some live hockey at the beautiful Huntington Center in downtown Toledo, Ohio, it will be the Toledo Walleye taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets AA affiliate, the Kalamazoo Wings. Tickets are $5. You can go to the Huntington Center box office or call 419-725-WALL. Or ToledoWalleye.com because it's our fish, our fight. And even though they play Kalamazoo, I still root for the walleye. But when they play Kalamazoo, it's like you got to root for either one because these guys could be soon to be NHL players. Look at Luke Glenn Denning. Used to play for the walleye. Now he's in the NHL with the Detroit Red Wings. Can't stand the Wings. So now it's time for the Libby Factory Outlet setting your table. Evening. For tonight's sporting events. Of course, tonight the NL wild card matchup between the Chicago Cubs versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. 8.07 start time for that one. And by the way, today's show is 10 7 15. If you remove the 7 out of that, it'll be 107. That's how many years it's been since the Cubs were in the World Series. If you look at the time of the game, at 8.08 will be the start time for the game. Military time is 19. Point, colon, zero eight. Last time the Cubs won a World Series. Coincidence? I think not. Pick the Cubs. But also the NHL kickoff tonight between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens and the the New York Rangers taking on the Chicago Blackhawks. So much more. So I cannot wait for this season to get underway. The NHL is finally ready to begin and ready to drop the puck. I hope you're excited as much as I am. Remember, the NHL preview show will be posted on right after this show, so enjoy the program. Take my picks in the lightly. We're going to be breaking down individually in-depth analysis of my picks as well as getting where you set for the upcoming season for your team, whether it be the Jackets in Columbus, the Red Wings in Detroit, the Pittsburgh Penguins, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the LA Kings. We'll talk about the Kings. We'll talk about the Ducks. So much more. I cannot wait to talk to you guys about this, and I cannot wait for this season to get underway. So that's going to wrap it up for all Andy up for today. I hope you enjoyed this program as much as I gave it to you today. However you're watching us and wherever you're watching us, go Jackets! Thank you for tuning into the program today. And go Jackets! Go Walleye! Let's go, Cavs! Go, Cubs! Go! And congratulations, Houston. You deserved it. Until tomorrow, for another edition of All Andy Alford, I am Andy Alford. I hope you have a terrific evening. And as always, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Game of life. And to the teams behind me, and to your team that you root for at home as well, victory is sweetest when you have tasted defeat. Have a good evening, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for another edition of All Andy Alford. Love you, babe. Talk to you guys tomorrow.